protocol of macbare at all who talks about giving bsglt to beta blocker first and then calling them back and initiating other two later and then most of these patients when they reach us are pretty sick they are class 3 4 no class 2 patients would come to us so by the time they have reached us they are already exhausted of those basic digitalis and beta blocker kind of stuff and i think they are already on either ace or arni when i see them and of course the guideline tells you as a class 1 indication to switch from ACRB to Arni, so I'm upfront Arni uh, person uh, if there are no contrary. Okay, so to VC Chavan sir, uh, after starting Arni, how frequently you would ask patient to have a repeat visit OPD and which investigations you would like to recommend to the patient and how frequently you would like to recommend investigations to the patient? Uh, see, once Arni started, I usually call patient for two to three weekly interval for first two or three times. and usually i consult more on sodium potassium and creatinine and when they come for the follow up sometime i do echo screening but always obviously maintain the blood pressure if blood pressure is more than 100 and there no signs of hypoperfusion usually i step up the dose of arni even if they feel clinically better so i try to give maximum possible dose of arni tolerated on basis of blood pressure as well as on basis of creatinine levels and obviously on basis of pocket and like kamal sharma said even before arni prices went down I was very much fan of Arni because I saw some results. See, ten of my patients were planned uh, planned for the CRTD after putting the Arni. Actually, there was no need for CRT. So, have you seen the robust clinical personal uh, improvement in the LV function? So, even before I used to start Arni as a first drug, not trying first AC inhibitors or AI, but directly Arni. That is what we were doing, and this is how I follow up. And once patient is stable. i try to maintain whatever maximum dose patient can tolerate unless there is some contraindication and that even after the ejection improves and remain preserved i continue it of course at that level some patient because of final season wants to go then i i replace it with the valsartan that is what i usually do but if they can afford the cost yes i continue with the highest possible tolerable dose 